Hi, Mr. Bless. I have a few questions for you about the hurricane barrel. What factors are influencing the hurricane's intensity? Well, in this situation, this particular situation with Burrell, as the we got some record-breaking warm sea surface temperatures uh, in around the Eastern Caribbean and in the Atlantic Oceans too, and that is like the gasoline, if you like, for these systems to feed off of that from the bottom. The other thing that's very good for these systems in terms of development is a very low shear environment at the top. They need to breathe. So just like humans, you know, we need to eat, we need to breathe in order to, to grow. And so hurricane storms are similar. So what feeds them is warm oceans and, and a very low shear environment that they can blossom like a flower at the top. That's the best way you can break it down as simple as I can for you. So in that case, are there any signs that the hurricane can rapidly intensify or weaken? Well, it's already rapidly intensified. We know talking about category four hurricane that could possibly even touch category five by tomorrow. And that's, that's, that's already rapid intensification from where it was before. This is a major hurricane. It's very small, very tight and compact. This is usually a case when you have these small systems in a very favorable environment that they undergo rapid intensification. Currently, there is no suggestion that there's anything there that should cause any rapid uh, decrease or weakening of the system. There could be in the future uh, what we call a wall replacement cycles, which tend to, to, to pre, uh, stop the, any intensification process. And, but it also, what it also does, it widens the wind field. Um, but for the time being, we don't see any immediate wall replacements coming up uh, for Burrow. So which areas are most likely to be affected by the hurricane? In terms for Barbados, we predicting currently 40 to 60 mile per hour winds, which is storm force winds. Uh, that should be after midnight sustain. Winds should gust up to hurricane force, especially once we get heavy showers passing through. Winds can easily gust up to hurricane force, but storm force sustain for sure. The hurricane warning remains in effect because of the close proximity of this dangerous hurricane and the fact it's so powerful. We cannot let our guard down. We cannot play with this. This is really serious. Okay, well, what kind of impacts can we expect? The kind of impacts you can see on the ground, definitely, I mean, wind is going to be storm force. You can expect trees to possibly come down, fuel power lines, et cetera. What's more important is everyone stays safe. You, I mean, the, the, the emergency, manager, emergency management officials, the other officials have been giving really good recommendations about what you should do, uh, when you should do it. I want to encourage everyone to listen to these official messages from the local authorities on what to do. That is the most important thing to help protect life for you and your loved ones. They gain some really important information. Please listen to them throughout the course of the night and into tomorrow.